superintendent. Um, I've cut down my written remarks, which I've submitted to the secretary. I know about risk. I was captain for 28 of my 33 years in a major U.S. airline. My rough math is that I was directly responsible for over one half million lives during my career. I was also an Air Force fighter pilot for 14 years, including combat. <clears throat> my friends and colleagues died in peacetime accidents on almost a monthly basis just doing our job. I know about risk. At age 66 and unvaccinated, I've been to Brazil seven times over the last 18 months. They have a lot of COVID. I know about risk. Last summer, I caught COVID in an airport in Brazil and treated it without seeing a physician by using drugs that Dr. Fauci tries to keep all doctors from using. So understanding risk, I have tried to be polite and empathize with this board as it considers the risk of COVID. The last meeting, I heard a board member emotionally say, and I paraphrase, I would feel better about removing face masks if 80% of the students were vaccinated. I wondered where this comment came from until the head of the American Federation of Teachers Union said virtually the same thing last week. Maybe it was a coincidence. Also last meeting, a few Chatham teachers gave emotional and unscientific appeals to continue the masking policy. Here are a few facts, and I list more here. Uh, for those who think COVID vaccines and children are the answer to COVID risk. In 2021, there were more COVID deaths in the U.S. With, under President Biden with the COVID vaccines than under President Trump in 2020 without COVID vaccines. After lying for months, federal health bureaucrats, Drs. Fauci and Walensky, have been forced to admit that the COVID vaccines do not prevent transmission nor infection. Countries with 80, or excuse me, 90 to 100% vaccination rates and mandatory masking with high citizen compliance have had record COVID cases and deaths since Omicron appeared in November. Examples are Singapore, South Korea, Japan, Gibraltar, Israel, Denmark, and Iceland. Uh, and last, the FDA tried to hide the truth about their corrupt decision to approve the COVID vaccines by not releasing the manufacturer licensure submissions for up to 55 years. A federal judge refused and gave them just eight months. If this board wants to protect our school teachers and other staff, okay, um, then please start giving them free vitamin D and pay for anyone with a body mass index over 25 to enter a weight loss program. These address very, very well. Stop asking students to sacrifice their physical and emotional health to satisfy unscientific uh, and emotional concerns of school teachers and staff. Thank you.